Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video is Palette Promenade and so today I thought I would continue along with the Ghost Town Palette from Nomad Cosmetics it's it's a really cool cover and packaging it's got a western town and it's active here in this flip and then when you flip it this way it's like it's deserted and so Ghost Town USA from Nomad Cosmetics. Beautiful mirror, beautiful packaging. And the last time I worked with this, I, I did some blues and greens. But this time I want to work with these mauves and purples and do something a little bit different. So we're just going to get right into this. I've got my uh, blending brush here, the LC10 from Lurella Cosmetics. And I'm going to go straight in with, I think this, this mauve, this kind of a mauve -y kind of a purple here. It's, uh, I think it's got some brown in it. It's called um, Bandit Queen. <laughs> How cute. So anyway, I've already done my moisturizer and everything and my uh, eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to head straight in. And we're going to see what we can create today. I want to create something that's going to be striking. Striking. Dramatic. So I want to start with this darker type shade here and get that in this crease, the upper crease area and down into the crease so plenty of you know plenty of I got plenty of real estate here to cover and then we can deepen things up and so anyway that's pretty I think I like purplish browns I think they're I think they look good with blue eyes this whole palette right here just grabbed me. When the, when they came out with it, I was like, I love the purples and the browns. I love the blues and the greens. These shimmers, you know, look amazing. I really haven't played with it much. And so anyway, I kind of was tempted not to come back to Nomad Cosmetics so soon, you know, since I've done several looks from them from their palettes lately but I just couldn't resist you know it's just an appropriate palette for this time of the year not that I celebrate Halloween but I don't but it's kind of you know it's got that deserted you know ghost town feel and just the whole western theme I like it Okay, so we're going pretty high up and blending that out. Let me make sure I've got things even here. And I wanted a little bit darker out here on this outer edge because that's where I build up anyway. Okay, so let me switch brushes here. Let me grab a smaller one. This is the LC24. I use these two brushes all the time. All right, let's see here. Let me go into this one called Deadwood. It's like a really dark brownish purple. I think it may have more brown in it than purple. And I'm just going to work right here on this outer V section. I want to be pretty precise. Okay. 
and then just create that shape. that outer V shape and we're going to take this up just a little bit further so that when I relax my eye you can see the color and it helps make my eyes look bigger when I do that too okay and just blending it over Okay, that looks nice. It's kind of got like a grayish feel to it. Let me blend it out. And let's do this side. I remember when I was in my 20s, there was this girl that I worked with, and she did her eyeshadow different from me and it made her eyes look huge and I couldn't figure it out just from looking so I talked to her about it one day and she was telling me that if you put the darker shade you know in the crease and above the crease and put the lighter shades you know on the lid or shimmer on the lid and a lighter shade up underneath the brow bone you know to help smooth it out and blend it out or whatever it just it creates a dimension that makes your eyes look bigger and so I went home and I tried it and I can't remember what colors I used to try it with for the first time but man I was so impressed with that technique I just thought that is beautiful and so I started you know doing my eyeshadow like that with you know I could do a two eyeshadow look you know and use the darker one in the crease and the lighter one on the lid and up above or I could use three shadows you know and you can even do more with it okay I'm just blending I'm trying to smooth this out one time I did a collab with this gal and we used like eight or nine shadows. It was fun. It was a challenge. That was the challenge of the collab. And uh, and it was a colorful palette too. And so just putting, you know, a bunch of colors down was... I think I need a little bit more on this, this portion of the lid right here. So, but anyway, but you can get this effect here with as little as two or three shadows. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take that fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend and smooth that out. And that looks pretty even. I don't want to over blend. So it can kind of get scary. Let me just put a little bit more down. In the process of doing this, it can get kind of scary looking, you know, before it comes together. And of course with liner and lashes and everything the whole look just comes together real nice okay just a little bit more Okay, 
All right, I'll wait and do that bottom lash line here in a few minutes. Let's see. Right now, I think what I want to do is go up underneath the brow bone. And I'm going to use a just a little pointed tip brush. This is from Wing Me. I really like this. And I think I want to use this one called Undead Sheriff right there it's a really grayish mauve kind of color and I'm just gonna just tap into it and I'm just gonna go right there on top of what I've already laid down just to kind of help blend that out just a bit more Now, I know so far this look is kind of, you know, there's no shimmer yet, so it may, it needs some excitement. Oh yeah, that helps. Okay, I'm going to take it right through here too. Just to help this little area. All right very good all right now let's see I need a flat brush and this purple oh my gosh I don't know if y'all can see that or not but it's it's got a flip to it but it is so pretty and this pink is so pretty too so I thought that I would let's see let me swatch these two and just see where we're at on color see one's darker than the other this uh, garnet Montana in the corner is the darker one right there on my middle finger and then this other one called ghost train is the one that's more purple and I think I'm gonna go with the purple one it's just super pretty so let's just put that on the lid. I like the embossing on this palette. So this particular color that I'm using right here looks like a bandit. But after you use the shadows two or three times, the embossing, you know, kind of fades away. But it's fun, you know, from the beginning. But look at this color. Wow. That's pretty. <coughs> okay, now this, uh, it's kind of dark. And I think that's the whole idea behind this palette is to have some shadows that are kind of spooky like so when you're working with dark shadows and you have fair skin like me you can't help but create something a little on the dramatic side Let me set that brush down. Let's see if I can't get a little bit better of a pop just by putting some on with my finger. Oh yeah. I really want that purple hue to show up. But I think it might have a um, like a dark brown or black base okay let me set that down for a second and um, I need to do my brows so let me go off camera and I'm gonna work on some foundation and do my brows and stuff and then we'll come back and continue Okay, y'all, I'm back. I did my foundation, 
bronzer, blush, highlighter, did my brows, set everything down with powder, and now I'm ready to get back into this palette. I'm going to work on this lower lash line, and that purple was so pretty. I really want to go back into it. Um, it's called Ghost Train. And I just want to see what I can do on this lower lash line with that pre-shade. And then I've got a eyeliner from Trace Loose Beauty that I want to put in the waterline. And I went pretty light on the color of the foundation today because I thought, you know, this makeup look is looking kind of, you know, gothic almost. So I thought, well, I would emphasize that by making my complexion on the pale side. It's not really what I'd call a gothic look, but it is leaning. It's got that kind of a vibe, or it will when I get done. I thought it would be appropriate for the Ghost Town palette. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And there is a really pretty sparkly kind of a highlighter shade in this palette. It's called Rhyolite Nevada. And I guess that's the name of the town that this was inspired by. I'm not sure. I guess I could look that up and find out. But anyway, it's it's really light. It's um it goes right along with these mauvey shades. And there's another one up here in this corner called Tombstone. And I think Tombstone has some gold in it. So I'm going to stay away from that one today because I'm using a silver highlighter. And I'm going to go in with this one from uh, called Riolette. And I'm going to use this complex culture brush. And I'm just going to use this like in the inner corner. Just to bring a little more pizzazz if I can it's a pretty thin formula pretty thin shimmer so you have to kind of build it up a little bit it would be a great topper shade which I see what I'm doing So I'm just going right there in that corner around that tear duct. And just a little bit above here. This has some really pretty, pretty uh, glitter reflex. Here, let me swatch it for you. That way you can see it. Kind of hard with this lighting but anyway that's it right there it would be a great shade to use actually on the lid if you were looking for something you know really light but i wanted to use that purple today so we'll use this as an inner corner Let y'all see what I'm doing here. This is so pretty. I like this shade right here. So we got a little bit of a pop going on here. And I could actually use this just as a little touch underneath the brow bone here just to give this a little bit of a lift we had quite a bit of dark shadows that we used today so this may need a little lift not too stark but just 
a little something something okay I want to keep going for some reason but anyway I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna use this trace loose it's um called bold it's it's like a purplish blue it's let me swatch it for you but it comes off more purple once you actually put it on the skin so let me grab a smaller mirror here and let's see what I can do I want to get this in the water line today just to you know give this look more purple I've really been into purple this fall so far I think that uh, it's a great fall color And the last look that I did, I paired it with a green from the palette, from the Chicago Speakeasy palette, and it turned out terrific. And it was it was different, you know, putting a green with the purple, which is something I normally don't do. But I did it that day, and I thought it was amazing. Anyway, I'll link that video up in the cards if you didn't get a chance to see it. Okay, so there we go. We got some... I like this these eyeliners from Trace Loose. The pigment's really there. It's really pretty, and it stays for a long time, too. Okay, so I'm going to set that down. Now I'm going to go back off <laughs> and do my lashes and... Um, I'll probably wear some falsies today, and then we'll come back and we'll do lips. Okay, y'all, I'm back with this bold, beautiful, purple eye look. I love it. It's so pretty. And I think this palette is just awesome. The Ghost Town USA palette. So today I worked with, let's see, we had... Uh, one, one, this whole row, one, two, three, and then these two right here. So this whole row and these two right here. So five, five shadows today out of the palette. And um, I was really happy with the way it turned out. Okay, now let's work on these thin little lips of mine. See if we can't make them look a little bit fuller. So today I'm going to go in with a, like a kind of a brownish, lip look. I'm going to use this Lorella Peanuts Collab lip liner to start with. And we're going to line these lips a little bit outside the lines. I like to start right here in the center of the bottom lip. And just work in sections. This pencil is retractable, but it and it also has a liner. Okay, so we have that. Now I want to use a, a liquid lipstick. This came in my Medusa's makeup bag. It's kind of a brownish, like a mauve color, and I thought these two would pair nicely. So let me put some of this on. And this dries down super matte, so I may put a lip gloss on top of it. It's got like a mousse type formula. It's like a nude. And it has a bit of fragrance to it as well. Okay, so there's that. And now I have this uh, lip gloss that I've been wanting to use. It came in ice cream beauty beauty bag or I think it was a beauty bag anyway it's from sugar drizzle 
and some people got a lip gloss with a little charm hanging off of it but I got a um, it was my first ice cream beauty bag and so I, I think they ran out anyway they sent me like five or six of these little bitty lip glosses oh yeah this is a perfect color let me dip back in there bring some moisture and shine to the lip look okay this is the look today y'all the um i can share the products with you real quick if you like that i used today i used the uh, lys products the, they have the triple fix serum foundation and a concealer to match that's the foundation that I use today this is in the shade LN3 um, they have a serum that you can use as well and so I use that and then placed um, a sunscreen type moisturizer this came from the British Museum in ZC so I put that on top as my moisturizer and my husband's pulling up so sweet peas barking anyway I want to finish this really quick and uh, then for bronzer I use the one from per cosmetics the mineral glow it's beautiful my blush today is from Koki Cosmetics, uh, the blush palette that I just received in the mystery bag called Blushing, and I went in with this one here in the middle. And then I used the silver highlighter from uh, Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in the shade Diamond Lily. So that's, that's the highlight today. The mascara today is from benefit it's the fan fest i love this mascara y'all it is so good love the wand love the formula love the waterproof all right and the eyebrows i'm still using that step of a pencil <laughs> and the powders today are the by terry hyaluronic hydro powder under the eyes and then the opv beauty london translucent setting powder for the face I reckon that's about it anyway I need to spray everything down so I'm using the one hit item which is not really a painting project but I'm trying to use it up I'm, I don't claim to be a painting project person anyway the lashes today I got off of Amazon from Kiro Miro. Love these lashes, y'all. They're awesome. Kiro Miro. Okay, I gotta go. He's fixing to walk in the door. Thank you all so much for watching. And we say thank you very much. God bless you today is my prayer. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!